Hi, my name is Andrew Kinney. I am an attorney at Hogan Law Offices. I practice in the area of Social Security Disability Law. Today I wanted to talk about Social Security benefits and long-term disability. Now, long-term disability is private disability insurance, usually paid by an employer, but occasionally someone gets, gets uh, long-term disability in the open market. Um, it's no different than health insurance. Some people get it through an employer, and then some also just pay for health insurance on their own. So as far as what long-term disability is, it is not associated with the government. These are private insurance companies offering this. Um, long-term disability coverage is good, and if you have it, um, in my book, you're very lucky. Um, the reason is this. If you have long-term disability coverage and you get injured at work and you are unable to work, maybe something that happened at work or something that happened at home, you would be able to get some benefits to replace income when otherwise you wouldn't have been working. Now, how is it important to you? Um, if you're in a position where you're working and you have long-term disability insurance offered through work, the first thing that's important is to find out if you have it, and if you do, when can you apply for it? Um, there may be times when there's short-term disability, and short-term generally is zero to six months after you're disabled. Um, not all companies have both short-term and long-term disability, so it's good to know what your benefits are as an employee. Um, now, if you are making a long-term disability insurance claim through your employer or perhaps just directly through the insurance company, What's very important is that there's almost always a Social Security offset, uh, a Social Security offset um, a clause in your long-term disability contract. What I mean is the long-term disability contract anticipates that you apply for Social Security benefits, and if approved, you'll actually have to pay the long-term disability carrier back for those months that you get paid both when Social Security looks back. So I'll give you an example that might be helpful. I had a client yesterday that was getting long-term disability insurance and she had to go to a hearing and we eventually proved she was unable to work and she would get two years of back pay and those two years of back pay would all actually go back to the long-term disability insurance carrier by their contract. And so um, in a way the long-term disability carrier advanced the money on what eventually became a social security claim. Uh, so not to get too technical here, what is important for you to know? Well, if you have a long-term disability insurance claim, you will generally be contacted by that long-term disability insurance company to get representation to apply for Social Security. In fact, it's generally mandatory that you do that to be able to continue getting long-term disability benefits. Who can help you? Well, you can make your own choice as to who represents you. In at least the last 10 years, I've seen a change in the long-term disability industry they used to allow attorneys to help clients to get on Social Security benefits, an attorney like myself. Over time, there have been non-attorney processing firms that I've seen that have taken over and have gotten um, group contracts with long-term disability carriers. So if you want an attorney to help you, you have a right to hire anyone you please if you have a long-term disability claim. And any money, a quarter of back pay that would go to an attorney is not something you would pay back the long-term disability insurance carrier. So hopefully, if you have this situation, this video helped. If you have more questions about long-term disability and how it impacts a Social Security disability claim, you can call 1-855-513-HELP, and that's 1-855-513-4357. Or you can feel free to get information on our website displayed below. Thank you very much.